the Air Jordan 4 Industrial Blues. I know a lot of people haven't been too happy about the Industrial Blues because they don't really look like the Military Blues. The original Jordan 4 Military Blues, um, the hue of blue was a bit lighter. I p probably prefer that a little bit better, I'm not going to lie. But I do actually like when retros come out, I'm not going to lie, I don't actually mind when they decide to change the hue of the colour slightly just to kind of make it a bit different because for me as a sneaker buyer quote-unquote collector it's easier to dif dif differentiate based on the color of the hue because sometimes the shapes are similar but in this particular one what's really funny about it, interesting is that essentially from what i can remember the air jordan sb the nike air jordan sb the pine one was the first time jordan decided to basically adopt a reimagined air force one shape so that nike jordan 4 sb pine pine green this one one of my favorite you know shoes in the of the last year or so an amazing colorway very 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 popular this particular shoe has been a shoe that they built from the original last of the jordan from the 80s so it's got that nice roundy it's got that nice kind of boxy type of shape i'm not too sure if you kind of understand what i mean but the shape is fucking delightful it's got this nice suede mud guard it's got the nike sb um here obviously there on the back of the heel and it just looks fucking supreme and I remember them saying back in the day when they obviously when this released, they were like, oh, we're actually going to make all Jordan 4s to be the shape going forward. So even the non SB ones will have this type of shape. So for me personally, even though the industrial blues aren't the same as the military blues, the fact that they have this particular shape, which is the same as the pine green, I'm really happy about. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like it. And obviously you got the addition of the a bit more of a suede kind of hit on the front. So these again, these are these are Jordans. Um, these are not of the DSBs. I think the SBs have a different insole. I think there's more of a thicker, um, there's more thickness on the mud guard here with the suede to help you when you're flipping on your board and shit. So it's a little bit different when it comes to materialing. But I think overall, they've done a good job with these industrial blues. So mostly white on the upper. You've got the nice kind of off-white, new bucket gray mud guard on the front on the on the on the on the front of the fucking shoe itself you got this nice industrial blue hit here on the midsole maybe the quality of it isn't the greatest looking at the picture here hype piece there's a bit of um you know gaps there with the white with the bleed on there but i'm sure you can touch them up a little bit and they'll look okay but again just look at the shape the shape is the most important thing for me that shape is way more worth it like i think these will probably end up being 180 pounds or something but i think that is way more worth it to purchase than some of the retros they'll putting out the banana foot one especially because you know jordan fours are my favorite sneaker of all time i think they're definitely my top three i think my top three sneakers of all time especially when it comes to nike have to be the nike air max 90 air infrared the air force one white on white air force one low and of course the jordan 4 breads those are definitely my top four shoes of all time if i had to kind of you know say the shoes i kind of like so let's go nike air max 90 infrared that's definitely my number one shoe of all time, I'd have to say. In terms of a sneakhead, you know, I've got great memories of wearing this shoe back in the day. And then I'd say, you know, Nike Air Force One, low white, you know, white on white, you know, while going with that one, classic. You can't really go wrong with those, right? You know, while going with those. And then, of course, the Air Jordan, Air Jordan 4. Actually, let me get back on those on screen so you can see that. Buh, 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 buh. And then, of course, you've got the Air Jordan um four uh bread right for me the, these are my top three shoes of all time definitely if i had to kind of pick and now that we've got this reimagined shape i'm happy about it because even on foot look at these reimagined how they look differently on, sh on foot compared to these basically so this is a retro that i had you see how the funny that i don't know if you can see if that makes sense to you but see how funny this toe box looks it almost looks a bit like bent a bit like bananary too flat on here but when you see the reimagined ones, like the ones here, they've got a bit more of a flatter silhouette. They're a bit more, they've got more of a point towards the front. They look a bit more angular, you know, they've got a bit more of a, you know, so the shape is just a little bit more substantial. So I've always been a big fan of those type of things. So um, Jordan 4, um, Military Blues, I fucking love them. I think they look fucking supreme. Love the look of them, love the hit, love the how there's a darker hue. Because I remember the original Military Blues are a bit lighter, but I actually don't mind these. I think they look fucking fantastic. I think they're releasing this week, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're releasing this week, May 4th. 
available on the sneakers app for 215 dollars if you're already on them you know why i'll go on if you're already on them you know why i'll go on industrial blue jordan fours absolutely phenomenal i love the shoe i've always loved the shoe it's fucking fantastic check it out if you haven't already make sure you check it out if you haven't already make sure you check it out if you haven't already